Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world, Mega Crasher is here, and are you ready for two more Tuesdays? Woo! This is the series that like, subscribe, or show on Sunday is where it features this crazy nuthouse, bedhead and all, narrating the bells that you, the amazing people of the community, send to me. And it just so happens that we have two tremendous battles to get underway. So let's get started, baby. The first battle that we got comes in the form of a Generation 7 VGC match. We got Von Z49 versus Pro Cell. Now, Pro Cell is packing his very trustworthy mono dark type team, man. Are you ready for some darkness to be shed here in this battle, man? And if y'all are afraid of the dark, I suggest you turn away because this is the battle of nightmares, man. We got the Weavile, we got Murkrow, we got Crocodile, we got Silvalli. I'm going to assume it's a dark type Silvalli. We got the Mandibuzz, and we got the Incineroar. Oh, shit. But of course, Von Z's team is looking quite intimidating itself. Because we got the Alolan Muck, we got the Oranguru, we also have ourselves the Boss Wool, we also have ourselves the Passimian, we got the Celestelia, and the Snorlax. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, set your phasers to stun, get hyped, stay hyped, and let's do this! Woo! Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. So we have ourselves the Oranguru and the Snorlax leading off on one end versus the Silt Valley and the Incineroar leading off on the other. Here we go, baby. We got the fake out on the Oranguru going on and Silt Valley with the multi deck blown back. Oh my god. Oranguru didn't even have a chance in hell in this battle. But we got Snorlax with the Earthquake now and that's going to be doing some considerable damage to both sides. But let's see what we got going on here. Incineroar switches out and we have ourselves the Murkrow coming in and of course the Air Slash. Holy shit on oh, bricks, that Buzzfuel actually survived a special type four times super effective air slash, man. Note that day, man. Note that moment. And Buzzfuel just fucking blinked. I can't believe this. But Snorlax, with, of course, that breakneck blitz, that Z move, just took out that Sil Valley. But now we got the Incineroar going on, so what's gonna happen? Buzzfuel has to switch out and goes to the side of the Stelia. But, of course, now we got the fake out going on. And what's gonna happen? We got the Feather Dance going on. Gonna lower that attack by two stages of the Celestelia. And Snorlax, of course, flinches, man. But now we got Protect going on from the Celestelia. And we got the Feather Dance now. Lower the Snorlax's attack by two stages. And the Overheat's not gonna do anything to Celestelia. But we got the return going on. Ain't gonna do a damn thing to the Incineroar. That thing is bulky as hell. But of course, Celestia now just got taunted and it can't even use Leech Seed. But now we got the overheat on the Celestia. And my god, he just barely survives with 8% health. And of course, what the hell? Man, oh man, Incineroar is bulky as hell. He just survived that earthquake with 1% health. And knowing that the opponent can't do a damn thing against that dark type team, he forfeits. Great game by both competitors, but Pro Cell, my man! I just gotta say, bro, that Dark type team is looking scary as hell. It is so bad! So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, get set for battle number two! Woo! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the second battle? And it also features another Generation 7 VGC match, and it also features my boy. Pro Cell taking on CEO Chibi. Now, Pro Cell's team consists of the exact same nightmarish dark type madness team, man. They are absolutely scary. So let's go ahead and let's get on with the opponent's team. We got the Alolan Ninetales, the Alolan Sand Slash, we got the Clefairy going on. Oh shit. Clefairy and doubles is pretty damn awesome. We also have ourselves the Kamolo, the Araquanid, and the Slow Bro Bro. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into the second battle. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we have ourselves some Murkrow and the Mana Buzzling off of one against the likes of Ninetales and the Cool Fairy leading off on the other. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. So what's gonna happen first? We got the Toxic now from the Murkrow onto the Clefairy, and we got the Aurora Veil being set by the Ninetales, and of course the Mana Buzz now goes for that Snarl, gonna lower that special attack by one stage of both the Ninetales and the Clefairy, and we got Encore from the Clefairy onto the Murkrow going on. Gonna lock him in to Toxic, but I think that's quite okay, because that allows for him to Toxic the Ninetales as well. And we got the Blizzard from the Ninetales going on, gonna do some heavy damage to both Murkrow and the Mana Buzz. 
But now we got the Snarl just further punishing the special attacks of both the Clefairy and the Ninetales. And we got Reflect going on from the Clefairy. So we have both the effects of Aurora Veil and Reflect and possibly Light Screen going to stack up with each other, man. That's going to be crazy. But now we see Incineroar being switched in. And of course, the, the Blizzard is going to hit. Not going to do that much to the likes of Incineroar and not even do that much to Mandibuzz. And that special attack is just being punished, being thrashed by the likes of Snarl. And now we have all three set up. we got the Aurora Veil, Light Screen, and Reflect going on. This is going to be a doozy to take down, man. But now we got Kamo'o coming in, and he's going to take that fake. It would take next to no damage. But now we got Roost going on from the Mana Buzz. So what's going to happen here? He gets Encore into Roost. So what is going to happen next, man? Got the Hail is go. Man, that Hail is taking some pretty heavy damage on the opponent. So now we have ourselves Murkrow coming in, and now we got Kamo'o with the Dragon in. So this ain't good, man. But now we got Roost. Obviously not going to do anything for the Mana Buzz because he's already at full health. And that Heal Pulse also ain't going to do that much for Kamo'o because he was practically at full health but Clefairy now goes down to the likes of Hail and Toxic but now we have Alolan Sand Slash coming in and we also have ourselves a Feather Dance going to lower the attack stat of Kamo'o by two stages and the Icicle Crash is going to do some heavy damage and take down the Murkrow and with the crit that Rock Slide does some damage and a flinch as well oh shit this ain't good man this is not good we gotta do something man but now we got Incineroar coming back in and that Leech Life is going to do some damage to the likes of Incineroar, but what is going to happen next, man? That Rock Slide does both the Incineroar and the Mandibuzz some pretty light damage, in my opinion, but now we also have ourselves the- OH SHIT! That overheat took down the Alolan Sand Slash, and I'm starting to lose my voice already, man. This battle is pretty damn intense and pretty damn exciting. But now, we got the Alolan Ninetales back in, and of course Incineroar switches out and goes into the Sil Valley, man. And of course that Rock Slide's going to be doing some damage, but not that much because of that lowered attack. And the Blizzard is also going to be doing quite a bit of damage to both the Sil Valley and the Mandibuzz. But now we got Toxic on the Kamo. Oh, so now they're both on a timer, man. What is going to happen next, man? This is getting excited. We got Protect from the Sil Valley going on. And that Outrage, not going to do anything. So now, what is going to happen next? We got the Dazzling Cream in effect. And of course, Mana Buzz still manages to hang on, and he goes for that Roost, man. Goes for that sexy Roost. Okay, so now, what is going to happen next, man? This is getting intense. This is coming down to the wire. That Outrage, not going to really do that much damage, but of course, the Dazzling Cream is going to take out both the Silk Valley, and actually, Mana Buzz manages to hang on by 4% health and get that very important Roost off. Okay. This is getting intense because now we have Incineroar coming in. What will Incineroar do? He goes for the fake out onto the, on the Nine Tails. I'm getting all tongue tied and stuttered up. And that Outrage ain't doing anything to Mana Buzz from the Kamo. Oh, and we got the Snarl going on. Going to do not that much damage to either opponent, but it's going to lower the special attacks of both opponents by one stage. So what's going to happen next? The Alolan Nine Ninetales goes down to the poison damage. So now, what do we got here? We got ourselves some Protect going on. And the Outrage is obviously not going to do anything to the Mana Buzz because of the fact that it was protecting. And the Overheat's going to be doing a little bit of damage to Kamo'o. And that is going to be the game thanks to the toxic damage of the Kamo'o. Holy crap. That right there was down to the wire. Great game by both competitors. And that right there is what's going to conclude this video. So if you guys enjoyed the video, then make sure you fire off a like, man. Let's see if we can aim for 20 likes. Let's keep the like goal hype going for this series, baby. Woo! With that being said, if you want more content like this, make sure you rate, comment, share, share, share this video, and subscribe today to Mega Crasher and the community for the best, and I mean without a shadow of a doubt, the best Pokemon Sun and Moon hype that you can find right now, right here on YouTube, and just overall the best hype, action, intensity, electricity, and entertainment done by yours truly, known as Mega Crasher, because you guys all know the deal by now, my friends. When we're a community type pack time is one, you know that we shine brighter than the sun and the moon combined. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next upload.